Have you ever wanted to implement web scroll snapping just like a native app? Well, now you can. As of Chrome 69 and Safari 12, we've got a native implementation. Let's jump in and smash it. Okay, so we've got CodePen here. I'm just gonna create three um, sections that we can scroll between, um, and then we can add the scroll snap to see what that provides for us. So let's jump in. Um, let's create a container, and in there, Let's have some items. So we'll have three items. Um, we can give a number and three of those. Um, right, so the first thing we need to do is on our container, we need to add scroll snap type. And we need to specify which direction. Now we're doing a horizontal scroll, so that's an X. And we can also say mandatory. Uh, which means it's going to stop on each section rather than flowing all the way through. Okay, and let's set this to display um, flex so our items go across the screen. And we'll give this a width of 100 um, just to make that fit correctly. I'll just do a quick um, reset so that everything fits nicely on this. So let's have those and box sizing as well, like so. And we can hide that one away, we don't need that anymore. Um, right, so yeah, so, so far the main key we need is this scroll snap type X mandatory. Um, let's now look at each of the items and we will, we want each of these to be the, the size of the screen width wise. So let's give them a min width of 100 view and we'll give them a height of 100 view height. Um, and we'll set the background on them as well. So let's do, um, let's do that up here. If I do style, background, color, orange like so and we'll put that on each of the items so I have an orange a red and a green and then let's give these a better name actually let's say one and two three like so um, and let's make them a bit bigger and try and get them into the middle this text so display flex and then this is really scroll snap uh, but it's going to make it easier for us to see so let's do a justify content center and align item center like so um, and if we look on here now I can scroll um, but I can scroll anywhere because we scroll between one and two um, so there's no snapping as such so we've got this one here but there's another item we need well a couple of things actually we want to say on here overflow X is scroll we certainly need that and then on the item we also need scroll um, snap a line and we can set that to start. So these are our main two um, keywords that we need. Scroll snap align, scroll snap type, uh, and you definitely need to have an overflow X on here as well. Right, we've lost the scroll on here. No, it's probably just down here. Okay, so there's the scroll here. And you can see now it's already kicking in there. Uh, we've got a lot of scroll bars, so let me try and clean that up a little bit by um, getting rid of that that vertical one. So if we do overflow Y and get rid of that, we should now just see this scroll down at the bottom. And we can see as I'm moving it, there's a um, a tipping point whereby you'll flip to the next um, screen. So if I just scroll a little bit here from two to the left, you can see if I don't go far enough, it's just coming back to the two, so it's snapping back. But then also if I go and far enough, it will snap over to the one. So we can never get the case where we're between one and two. It's always going to fill um, the screen with the section that we're after. Um, so this gives you that nice native feel uh, that we're after there. 
Um, so there you go. Nice and quick um, scroll snapping um, on a website. Hope that was interesting. If you like these videos, click on that subscribe. Give me a plus um, thumbs up or thumbs down. And I'll see you next time. Bye.